Like and subscribe now, or you're gonna have bad luck this week. Explorers have unearthed some of the most remarkable things at the bottom of our oceans, but some of these discoveries have remained a mystery ever since they were found. The ocean is boundless, and scientists are puzzled at some of the miraculous anomalies that are down there. From terrifying creatures to lost cities and temples, let's have a look at some of the most amazing ocean discoveries. Number 10. The Scuba Spider I tell you what, you can never get enough of the ocean. Do spiders live in the ocean? I leave that for you to figure out. Spiders are amongst the millions of creepy species that exist underwater, but do we expect a spider without gills to make the ocean home? This creature uses its web as a gill and lives far under the water, but visits the surface of the water occasionally. The first time this creature was noticed was about 250 years ago, but scientists are still in awe of how this creature survives deep in the ocean and only occasionally comes to the surface to renew oxygen. Research says that 70% of the spider's oxygen comes from diffusion through the web. The probable reason this insect may not have been noticed all this while is that they deliberately hide from predators and prey. Arachnophobia is the most common of phobia in Western Europe, and the strongest of men own up to this defect. Number 9. The Island of Gondwana Earth once had a supercontinent called Gondwana. During the international effort to map the Perth Abyssal Plain in the Indian Ocean, scientists located two submerged islands one mile below the surface. Almost as big as Tasmania, they were the microcontinents that connect India and Australia before they divorced. Researchers only became aware that there were microcontinents beneath them when the common basalt rocks they were expecting to find turned out to be continental stones with fossils. The Gondwana pieces that once glued continents together became islands when the Indian and Australian coasts moved further apart. When fully studied, these microcontinents will change established beliefs about how plate tectonics broke apart the pieces that became India, Australia, and Antarctica. Now, you might be asking, what's so terrifying about a couple of submerged islands? Well, the Earth kind of has a habit of shifting things around once it gets bored of the current land layout. These islands were submerged due to violent movements of Earth's crust, giving rise to the world as we know it today. The thing is, this relic from the past will be our inevitable future. If that isn't terrifying, then I don't know what is. Number 8. Or Fish Oarfish are the top contenders in the fish kingdom as far as size is concerned. At the length of roughly 8 meters at maturity, they're the longest bony fish alive today. You would expect that they're a common sight with such conspicuous body frames, but nope. They're deep sea swimmers and come to shallow waters only rarely. An oarfish swimming closer to the shore means it's most likely looking to die or, on rare occasions, it is injured. That's why most oarfish that are spotted near the surface are usually dead. To catch these beasts in their most real glory, you'll have to venture down between 200 and 1,000 meters in temperate and tropical oceans where they frequent. At these depths, the currents are way weaker as compared to the surface water. Number 7. The Ghost Fish It is called a ghost fish because it has similar features to that of a ghost. This ghost-like creature was first noticed by scientists in 2016 during a mission aboard a research ship. The likes of this fish have never been seen before 2016 when it was seen for the first time. This fish belongs to the family of Aphiondae and swims at 8,202 feet below the ocean at the Mariana Trench National Monument. The ghost fish does not have scales, and scientists are not familiar with the skin and eyes. Scientists are puzzled by the discovery of this fish because since the history of the Aphiandae, it is the first time one of its species has been spotted alive. While you think that ghosts come only in human form, this fish has countered the narrative and presented itself as one of those ghosts in a horror movie. This fish may be called the ghost fish, but it does not disappear. When this fish dies, it is uncertain if the ocean would behold such terror. 
Number 6. Ulaburn's Shipwreck The deepest part of the ocean is a museum for thousands of shipwrecks. Some of these shipwrecks are older than many civilizations, as we have today. It is believed that the Ulaburin wreck may have happened around 1305 BC. Despite spanning hundreds of years, the remains of this wreckage are still intact. The Ulaburin shipwreck was discovered off the coast of Turkey in the Mediterranean Sea. Research suggests that this ship was carrying cargo when the wreckage happened. Archaeologists arrived at the conclusion after gift items were found on the ocean floor around the vessel's area. Expensive goods like ostrich eggs, clay jars, gold pieces of jewelry, rare rock particles, and even the golden seal of Nefertiti surround this ship. This discovery gives us a slight peep into an ancient civilization. Many lives would have been lost in this shipwreck, but archaeologists have not come up with a figure. But why do we record such huge cases of shipwrecks in the ocean. Number 5. A Giant Eyeball Our next item in this video wasn't really found deep in seawater by some diver. Rather, it was discovered on a Pompano beach in Florida, just lying there. This way, finding stuff on the beach is only natural, thanks to water currents moving back and forth, but sometimes, like a giant eyeball, is sure to raise attention. This ball is said to have been the size of a softball, and whatever creature it belonged to must have been remarkably huge, and it has never been known to this day. The guy who picked it up handed it to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, who forwarded it to the Fish and Wildlife Research Institute for further studies. Scientists were speculating that the eyeball might have belonged to a large fish like a tuna, but according to National Geographic, the most likely owner of this big eye was a squid. Why? Squids generally have their eyes embedded in soft tissue, hence easier to detach. This was later disproved after it emerged that a bony structure surrounded the eyeball. This, among other properties like the color, has led scientists to believe that the eye once belonged to a swordfish and was probably cut out by a fisherman. Number 4. Giant Isopod Up next we have this creature that will probably make you think twice before going into the water next time. The giant isopod measured up to 19 inches in length. This terrifying creature is also one of the oldest marine animals and is found mainly in cold, deep waters in the Pacific, Indian, and Atlantic Oceans. Its 14 legs and a pair of antennas are its most atrocious and intimidating aspects. The giant isopod is said to eat just five times in five years. It is one of the closest things you will find that looks and behaves like an alien, but aliens might just look like humans for all we know. The deeper you dive, the more likely you're going to be to find the giant isopod, and not just one. They could be in quantity of thousands, so be prepared to recreate a scene from Alien vs. Predator. These guys are also the ultimate survivors. They have been around since all the continents were stuck together in one lump, known as Pangaea, and they can go for years without eating. So really, it's only a matter of time before they take over the Earth. Number 3. The Underwater Alien Base at the sideline between the intercontinental borderland of Southern California and the Western Transverse Ranges province, a strain is partitioned across the Anacapa Doom fault line. There is a pop-up structure at this fault system, 20 kilometers on the west, known as the Sycamore Knoll. It is an anomaly that was discovered by Google Earth. It is located 2,000 feet below the surface of the ocean. For the images that have been seen, it looks like a green structure with many columns. It seems as if someone built a roof structure that is being supported by many pillars. According to geologists, it's not a unique finding as many similar structures lie deep in the oceans. While the UFOologists believe that this is a very special discovery that might indicate extraterrestrial life form, since it cannot be a man made structure. Number 2 Harp Sponge At number 2, we have this 3 foot wide harp sponge, and there's nothing quite like it on the planet. It's hardly even a sponge as we would recognize it, having left behind the filter feeding lifestyle and becoming a carnivore, passively nabbing tiny critters unlucky enough to float through its strings. 
Think SpongeBob SquarePants, only without the pants and with way more murder. What scientists know so far about the harp sponge is essentially its morphology or sound structure. But from that, they can then hypothesize about its biology, determining that it is an avid carnivore that relies on water currents to push tiny crustaceans into its picket fence-like upright branches. If you look closely, their branches have tiny hair-like structures called filaments splitting off horizontally, which act essentially like Velcro to catch minuscule prey. The harp sponge has evolved a very complex carnivorous lifestyle to cope with the depths. It's a brilliant adaptation to living in an aquatic wasteland. Number 1. The Seven Temples of Mahabalipuram There are many famous myths in the world of travel, but one of the most intriguing lies in the southern Indian town of Mahabalipuram. One temple was built in the 7th century, but it is believed that there were seven temples known as the Seven Pagodas of Mahabalipuram. The myth states that the gods became envious of their creations because of their luxurious life, so they brought forth a tsunami to wipe out and submerge six of the temples, letting only one stand as the Shore Temple. During a recent expedition spearheaded by the best-selling author Graham Hancock, one of the lost temples was discovered off the coast of Mahabalipuram. Foundations, broken pillars, steps, and scattered stone blocks were just a few of the many findings that indicated the existence of a large area for exploration and investigation. This is one of the most groundbreaking discoveries in the region. It provides strong evidence for the validation of stories that have been passed down through the generations in Mahabali Parem, as the myth is as old as the 7th century. Which one of these discoveries did you find the most intriguing? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.